Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. I go to cut the cards and look who's here, the star, I love it. Um, this is your weekly tarot check for the week of November 1st through November 8th. This is for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I just get a kick out of stuff like that because I feel like it's the universe also saying, Hi Aquarius, there's 78 cards here. So to just get that perfect cut, it just makes my heart sing. Um, thank you guys too for everything you do for the channel, from watching readings to liking videos to certainly subscribing. And if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. I post new readings every Friday, and then I typically will post again on Monday or Tuesday. There is usually one odd week of the month where I don't have a second reading. It just kind of depends. As we head into the new year, I'll probably have readings every week, though. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days or check a different part of your chart and see what else um, might resonate for you. Um, I don't give personal readings right now. I just don't have the time, but if that ever changes, I'll make an announcement on the channel. So let's get the guidance, please, for Aquarius. What messages do you have for Aquarius, please? What does Aquarius need to know? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let's just do one more there. All right, so... We'll do our tarot reading here, and then we'll do an Angel Answers Oracle card reading. You can ask a yes, no, and a timeline on those. So you've got, oh, I love it, the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. And then there's the star again. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You've got the Page of Cups, the Empress. Wow, this is beautiful. And the Two of Cups. I hope you guys stuck around. I got a little bit slow start. And I know sometimes people don't like that. But boy, is this worth the wait, isn't it? So you've got three major arcana. You've got yourself showing up here with the star. So Aquarius is here. You've got Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you've got Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And um, so with the, the Wheel of Fortune, you know, for some of you, it's like you're kind of getting off the hamster wheel, all right? If things have been feeling a little bit out of control, it, you know, it, it feels like you're, kind, you're getting a little more grounded here. But there's, there's some things about this card, too, some really special things about it that represent the laws of the universe. This is a great law of attraction card. And it also too, around the wheel, it spells tarot. But if you take each one of these letters and, and use each letter to start a word, it actually spells the first, uh, it actually spells the name of God in Hebrew. Okay. So it's a very um, layered card. And you have on this side with the serpent, that's the vibration. Okay. That's uh, those vibrations that attract and then this is our rising consciousness on this side so basically what they're telling you is you're ascending to a very high frequency right now you are attracting high quality things into your world especially with love it really is a beautiful love reading but you've got money here too so this truly is a stroke of luck in your favor and what it really is is your perfect alignment it is releasing all, all resistance and bringing things in. But when we are living in this human space, this earth school, we tend to call it luck. And I guarantee you, you're going to have people around you that say you are the luckiest bugger I've ever met. And it's because you're really in alignment with the universe. That's all. So you are commanding things here and bringing things towards you. It is a new cycle beginning and it's awesome. So... With the Six of Cups, for some of you, you've got reconciliation with a soulmate here. And you've got it multiple times, okay? So, and I know some people are like, no, don't bring them back. Well, they're here, and it might not be for you. But for somebody here, you've got somebody who's going to return. And they are going to come in with an offer. It does feel like there's still work to be done in the relationship. Because, um, you know, two of these are rather immature energies and they can be a little bit unstable, but I do feel my, my more uh, from a, from a psychic level, but really I'd almost call it mediumship. But anyway, 
from that more global perspective, I don't feel like it's immature as much as there just needs to be some healing in the relationship. So I don't feel like it's going to be in and out and unstable that way. I just think that there needs to be some transparency about things. Somebody needs to come, and really both sides, both people need to be open about their feelings. And I do see that here. There will be an outpouring and conversation and it's got depth, okay? It means something. And I feel like somebody really means it right down to their core. So open open your arms to it because it's here for you. Now, for others of you, there certainly could be new love. And if you've had pain in the past, it really will be about being open about that, being open about your needs, being open about you know, your feelings and, and advocate, not advocating. That sounds so boring, doesn't it? But you know what I mean? Asking for the things you want in a relationship, not, not setting a stage where it's like you're pretending to be somebody or not to attract the person. It's not that kind of relationship. It's adult. It's mature. It's having that ability, you know, to be who you are. And if it matches, great. If it doesn't, then it's not a match, but I actually do feel like it is a match. So You've got this two of wands here. I haven't seen this in a minute. You've definitely got success coming in, okay? But it's really about wanting more. And so for some of you in work, you're gonna want you're gonna want more. It feels like more clients, more business. For some of you, it may be more like educational stuff here, where maybe you're getting some kind of certification or professional development or something like that. But it is having a bigger lens, seeing things through a bigger lens and setting some kind of goal. Like I hear somebody saying, I'm going to double my income this year and you'll do it. You've got the right energy as you head into the next year. And I know it's been challenging for some folks, but for others, people are making more money than ever and they're donating more money. And so it really, for you, your energy isn't attracting money right now, but it's not backbreaking work. It's not really that hard. It's from more of a manifestation level, quite frankly. It's more about with that wheel of fortune, raising your vibration, being clear about what you want, being deliberate in your focus, and it will come. So with this King of Pentacles, you've definitely got the Midas touch. I mean, look at the growth all around you. The Empress here is very similar to the Queen of Pentacles in energy. But the Empress commands more energy because she's a major arcana. So with this, these two together, you are, it just feels like boundless in, in terms of money in this. I just see almost like this ball, like a snowball, but it's made out of money <laughs> rolling and collecting and collecting. So for some of you, you may have money getting returned to you too from something for somebody I hear, static listing. So I don't know if you have some kind of property from a long time ago. You might want to look into that because static listing doesn't generally just pop into my head. But somebody has a static listing here that has money associated with it um, that's yours. It's just sitting there. But for others of you, it really is about be bringing value. You've got a service to offer. You've got something good going here and it's going to bring in a lot of extra money. So here you are in your own personal power and it's completely self-mastery here. You know who you are. You know what you want. And there's nothing that will stop you in this kind of energy. I mean, when you look at these three together, talk about having the energy that creates worlds, but it's in such a loving, kind way. You really are attracting people to you too, so be aware of that, especially if you're a business owner or you're something like that where it's based on reputation, like getting clients and things. People will definitely want to work with you. But this is also a rebirth, okay? It's, a, it's wish fulfillment. I mean, it's a beautiful card in terms of having dreams come true and being under that golden star. And so, like I said, people are going to question your luck and be wondering, what are you doing? How, how are you so lucky? But really, you're just in alignment. And you don't need to tell them that because half the people think you're nuts. <laughs> if you walk around saying, no, I've just released resistance and I'm in complete alignment. But you are. And that's why this looks so effortless. Now, I mentioned before, there is an outpouring of emotion here. And it's from a good place. It really is. It comes from a pure place. 
a, with good intentions, the right intentions. There's not a manipulative bone in this body. And it really, again, both ways, it's two people who have love and want to move forward. So if there needs to be healing in the relationship, here it is. Or if it's healing overall, if you say, no, I've, I'm not going to go back with an ex, but it's healing you to not repeat a pattern. So you won't keep attracting the same thing, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, because it is a new cycle. It's about attracting new energy in also. So the Page of Cups brings in a nice offer here. But the Page of Cups also does bring in a kind of sense of lightness in a relationship, okay? This is somebody, even though there's a heart-to-heart -heart talk here, this is somebody who can move forward, right? They don't live in darkness. They don't live in, they don't dwell on the past. And so for you, really, as you move forward here, it does feel kind of like a once and done. You know, there's healing energy here, but it's not going back and rehashing the past again and again and again. So especially if you're tied to thoughts in your mind, they're telling you not to dwell there, to let go of it, to be light, to be in this energy, very carefree, very free-spirited kind of energy. So allow your mind to drift. If you find that you're having anxiety or you think about a certain person and it brings in pain, it's time to let go of that and move forward. And so even with this too, I do feel like you're attracting somebody who likes to hum and sing and whistle. I feel like they make a lot, generate a kind of a lot of noise but not in a bad way. It's just, that's just who they are. And it's just a nice energy around them. Very loving person. Um, kind of a kid at heart. I do see that. I feel like they're the kind of person that would like to dress up for Halloween or dress up like the, the kind of person that would like to dress up at sporting events. I get that for somebody here. And they have fun. God, they have a lot of fun. So go with it. So with the Empress here, she's the mother of the tarot, but she's also the um, creator of the material world, okay? So you're in a great place to manifest, to create your reality. So you know what? If you want to renovate your house or you want to move to somewhere, start looking on Pinterest, start looking through things, browse apartments online, because that's how you're going to create it and really see yourself there through your own eyes, through that first person experience, visualize it. Um, you know, she also too, she wears this crown of 12, right? And it represents the all 12 zodiac signs, but she's got the celestial tie about her. So she brings in the energy of the, the universe and she certainly does bring in love. She is the mother of the tarot. I might've mentioned that. And so um, this is a card of pregnancy too. I don't see any other cards that equal babies here. However, I would say with the two of cups, it's certainly possible because there is a soulmate here if that's what you're looking for. Or for some of you, if it's an ex, you might have kids with the person if it was like a serious relationship. That may be why she's here too. But I also want to say with that energy, this person finds you beautiful or handsome or whatever, wildly attractive very physically attracted to you. There's a very physical attraction here. And I do feel like they have a sense of pride about being with you. And not in a, not in a haughty way or an arrogant way, not in a negative way, but it is. I mean, doesn't everyone want that? They feel good being with you. And it's a match. It's like two best friends. In terms of work too, it's the right track. It's a job fit. It's, it's you being... Who, exactly who you're supposed to be here. You being exactly who you were born to be here and in that highest vibration of love. And when you're there, you can't lose, okay? So beautiful reading for you, Aquarius. I'm happy for you. I mentioned this before. Somebody said something about readers don't like to read for Aquarius because they think it's boring. I could not disagree with that more. Um, you know, I say this a lot, gregarious Aquarius. You're the party animals. Um, I used to know a um, an Aquarius in college, and his nickname in his fraternity house was Otis, or <laughs> Otis the town drunk. But I mean, the, the I mean, not that I'm saying all Aquarians are drunks, but he was a fun person to be around. He was a partier. I mean, so I don't I don't think of that at all. I think of Aquarius as like there. Where's the party? They're with you. 
So exciting things happen. And um, let's see what the angels have to say here. You've got trust. So they're telling you with especially some of this law of attraction card, trust in that, that everything you need is within you. You have the power within you. You're the cause. Everything around you is the effect. So just live that way. No need to worry. So again, there's more reassurance there. There's nothing here that's negative anyway. I mean, not a card. I love readings like that. It makes my life easy. Now they do have forgiveness. I feel like that's related to the star. So either way, if it's an old relationship or a new one, you just have to for forgive and allow it to just move forward. They tell you to take action so that you're in timing, you're in alignment right now. And the answer is yes. So move forward, they tell you. Great things shall come to pass for you, Aquarius. I love you so much and I'll be back again soon.